that everybody's just like kind of creepy and weird. And, like, oh yeah, we're nerds. But you gotta like embrace it and stuff. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the actual I go out like a bad too, dude. Can't call me a nerd then. <laughs> You're still a nerd. Where's the volume on this? Uh, oh, that's me. Right Want it louder? Okay, uh. Sir, I got it right here. No, no, don't touch the speakers, one. Don't. Where do you go? No, like, legit don't. It fucks up the audio balance, because left and right don't get bounced with the volume. Oh, that's weird, do you want it louder? No louder. All right. Somehow they strike to FD. Uh, I guess that's a fair stage for this matchup. Um, Marshall getting a, a quick uh, edge guard situation, but dropping it. Firefox too strong. All right, good conversion by Sheik with the fair. Uh, Samus makes it back back to stage. Marshall makes it back to stage. I've noticed in teams that people don't usually try to edge guard Samus. They just would rather take the time to two v one third. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's a <clears throat> hitting Samus away is a very opportune time for two v ones. Yeah, well, Samus does have stocks that live forever, and a stupid recovery like that just oftentimes Samus can't be there for her teammate. Yeah, both of these characters on blue being very heavy, uh, both stock tank characters normally. Oh, Marshall just sneaks past Inui, gets back on stage. What's up, Jake? Marshall taking stage, uh, stopping, <coughs> stopping O'Reilly from edge guarding. <laughs> In general, Samus has a little bit of ability to control space because he has pseudo peach down smash. Yeah, crouch cancel is a real threat, especially in teams. Yeah. Fortunately, Samus does lack some KO options, so. Sam relies on a strong teammate in any team matchup, which Falcon does an extremely good job at. Alright, we're really coming back on his second or last stock. He <laughs> somehow rushes in and <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even get 2v1. What a beast. <laughs> Deflected missile, don't see that. Almost hits O'Reilly. <laughs> Aureli's making it back far more than he should. Yeah. Really helping his survivability. Both of blue team are, but their recoveries last so long that their team can just help each other while it takes forever. But the downside is obviously 2v1s are exactly. inevitable. Back air to missile? Good back smash air. missile. Excuse you, they're called power <laughs> missiles. Power missiles? Really? Is that? I think that's what they call Metroid. Okay. Yeah, simple dash guard Falcon if you actually try. Yeah, if you want to give up the 2v1, it's not always worth it. Oh, yeah. That knee will put Sheik really far away all the time. 80%? Mass recovery. 80% was uh, after the knee, wasn't it? Yeah, that's awful DI, honestly. He I think it was that. about neutral. It's about how far she goes. Back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chain grab to down air. Wow, that <laughs> that team combo attempt was insane. Now this is a doable two v one, especially since she can edge guard Falcon while staying safe. Especially since Samus doesn't have a lot of ability to edge guard people off stage, but yeah. doesn't get that opportunity. Marshall and really take first game. Just a simple roll and F smash to cover on stage. Clean and simple. So she can fox. What kind of stages do they like versus a team like this? Um. Apparently FD. <laughs> Apparently FD, but um. 
in recent memory, I've seen Samus's fan stadium. In Guys, isn't Paul's on? I don't think they'd want to go back to FD. I have noticed a little bit of the salty run back tendency from John Money and Inui. Yeah, yeah. John and Inui uh, apparently like their run backs. But I'd imagine that they wouldn't <laughs> want to go somewhere big like Dreamland. That's really good for the Samus Falcon stage. But uh, on blue team's counter pick, uh, if and when they lose, I would assume they would go stadium. Oh, oh, really? Need the really entire red stadium. team. <laughs> now this stage is really good for a Sheik Fox team because Fox can still recover and she can edge guard really well. And Samus has a very limited ability to grapple, and also has to be very careful getting up from the ledge, because if you try to drop from ledge and instantly jump forward onto stage, you'll get battlefielded instantly and pretty much die. Really? So, you have to be extremely careful, sometimes get slow ledge options. It does factor in. Oh yeah, if you uh, press the stick uh, into the stage a little too early. Oh, oh good edge guard. Wasn't true, but no one ever <laughs> cancels. Yeah, uh, it's it's rare, no. especially at higher percent. You fly so fast. All right, good up smash. <laughs> Does that just getting up smash despite looking like no one is going to challenge Marshall? <laughs> yeah, he just caught him pressing buttons. Up smash just beats it. Oh. Samus does make it back. Using jump too early for Samus can really hamper her recovery. Can you expand it? No, no, no. The gray is always there. You can't. Damn. Yeah, alright. Good edge guard. Aurelia's is getting edge guard really well. And surprisingly, red team doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Red team doing a very good job of team edge guarding the entirety of blue. Well, really is finding very good grabs on Fox right in the middle, down throwing him until he techs out to the outer side, and then just corners him and hits him with a with a knee because hell he's scared. He's gonna press a button. He wants to get out. He wants to either get out or fight immediately. Oh, that down smash almost took Sheik off the top. That's ridiculous. That should not happen. <laughs> With Samus, that does not happen. You have to DI that really strangely. What would that be, like, straight out? Standard DI is roughly 60-ish degrees. So you have to DI into Samus to get that high of a trajectory. Right, right, right. Okay. Which most people usually aren't because crouch canceling, you don't want to do that. <sighs> oh, really? It's so good at uh, Even that acknowledging weekend. fear. Yeah. He, he smells... <laughs> His nose for fear is strong. He knows when you're gonna press a button and he's going to stuff it with there. Blue team with a small advantage, right? Yeah, good grab by Inui, setting up the uh, confirmed kill. But it looks like John wasn't really looking for the assist. Should have been paying a little more attention. Yeah. Yeah. John not uh, using ground movement as much as he should. Now he is. Um, earlier he was stuck on platforms, getting uh, juggled a lot. Oh, Marshall mixing up his recovery, oh. giving Chris enough, or uh, oh, really enough time to help him. No help needed. He drops an air on Fox's head. This is going to be a little 2v1 until Marshall can make it over. Yeah. He does, but it might not be safe yet. Okay, now probably is. Good Nair to cover the entire platform. And that's it. Samus. This is going to be a hard 2v1 for Marshall, because Samus doesn't have a lot of KOing power. True, oh, but they're that both missile. at high percent. Another missile, maybe a Nair or Sweet Spot back air. Good that's Nair it. out of shield. Good punish. Blue team takes game two. Samus in general isn't comfortable with 2v1s, but fortunately they're both at 100%. Uh, I think the map they want is either Yoshi's 
Or or stadium. Yoshi's our stadium, honestly. Yeah, red team would really enjoy going to stadium. Low ceilings. Um, definitely helps. Easier edge guards uh, for both characters. And being so long, it means that Falcon's knees might not kill so early. Yeah, the uh, the blue team's uh, team composition that not having as much stock tank ability is uh, probably in their best interest. But they go go to battlefield anyways. Wow, good reverse up here to uh, cover Fox's recovery. Oh, <laughs> goes for the stop to knee on John Money, <laughs> but gets his teammate set. Yeah. Anyway, going to town on O'Reilly. <laughs> Double dash attack oh. there. Marshall holds the ledge steady. O'Reilly yeah. able to make it back quite easily. Inui spent a little too much time close to the ledge and uh, got aerialed back from, uh, with an uh, invincible knee. Should have waved dash back or something. Uh, Marshall's in trouble. But <laughs> oh, makes that, it back team with that giant there. So much hit stun. Uh, Marshall's in a bad situation. Samus really does not enjoy being pinned to a ledge. He doesn't have very many escape options. One Red notable team. one would be up B, but without a platform that can become extremely yeah, critical. Oh, Marshall does almost make it back, but doesn't drift enough. Whoa, is this accidental? Yes, it was. Oh, no. All he has to do is grab it. Is Samus about to get gimped? <laughs> Holy doesn't cow. Get the wall jump. <laughs> One more stock gone. No. This is not good for your usual stock tank. What was that grab? I think he just set up tether, or it was uh, a very read heavy, read heavy guess. Wow. Uh, good rising there. Didn't make it back to stage though. Could have chosen to either go for a kamikaze kill or just go back on stage. That's really what you need to do there. Yeah. With this stock deficit, you can't be going for a suicide. So. A really grabbing ledge, just by coincidence, to really Hedgehog's box. Looking somewhere else, completely <laughs> misses the ledge and air dodges under it. This is an almost impossible comeback with this many stocks, considering how close these players are in skill. Yeah, that was really unusual. What's up, Ryan? All right, are really accepting, <laughs> accepting his situation and uh, taking the L. I think the uh, counter pick would be Dreamland. And I think I heard it them say that. Yep. Now I forget if I said this before. I probably did in an earlier set, but. Samus can stay alive for a long, long time on Dreamland. Yeah, on Dreamland. Holy. And Falcon's kill power actually isn't affected that much. Knee will just kill its usual 80 ish, 90 ish. The edge guarding is pretty easy with Sheik not having that long recovery and Fox being a little bit linear, especially when you have a 2v1 situation. You can manage it. I really like how John keeps his edge guards very simple. Like full hot bear shine, um, but he gets hit by a smash missile, unfortunately. Oh. Oh. Marshall goes for an edge guard, but gets caught. <laughs> edge gets guarded shine himself. There's a very good shine by John. All right, I'm calling Marilyn Patches. Listen and then play that. Watch this version. Mono. Reverse up air to, to Armada Shine. What? To punish the fire shield. There we go. I'm honestly really surprised by Marshall Samus. It's way better than I expected. I mean, I knew he had one, but... <laughs> Marshall Samus just gets three times better in teams. It doesn't really make sense. <laughs> I think uh, his general aware stage awareness and uh, ability to know positioning cues, like when to hit yeah. them... Uh, his six hit them off the smash yeah. just really becomes so amplified in teams. 
He really knows when to hit someone away from the fray to set up team combos and good edge guard situations. Unfortunately, like, Aurelia is still getting 2v1 because Sam's taking it. Yeah. Him. He gets his stock taken because of it. I think he's perhaps looking for Marshall to assist in the KO, but I don't think he realized in time. Samus' zoning tools are very good for setting up 2v1s, like keeping out the uh, teammate, and uh, smash missiles, just knocking someone out. But unfortunately, that last one was uh, friendly fire. Oh, wow. That what was a almost a sweet spot there, was... right inside Samus. That was crazy. <laughs> oh, that was me. a hard read. Oh, oh. oh really gets shine spiked. Otherwise, it could have been super close. And now the game's have still a close. Bit. Fox is at high percent getting edge guarded, but good. Oh, <laughs> oh Sam. Oh. <laughs> Zare, back. That was insane. Zare to extend the edge guard, but unfortunately not working. Good F smash. F smash. I don't think any shots would have hit ledge, so oh. we had to up B or do that full side B from that distance. What both teams need is to kill the high percent character. And, and it it's <laughs> there it is. Holy jeez. I was not expecting charge shot from platform to platform. Well, they can what? totally hear us. Too. No <laughs> shit. No shit. But then again, good awareness would tell you that the 2v1 is very highly preferable and definitely attainable with high percent. Oh, this 2v1 is not working out well. Fox can definitely do 2v1. Yeah, yeah. There's no character. better character. No better character. In fact, it looks like. Oh. Team Edgeguard gets failed. Now it's just Samus making it back. I believe without a jump, and he gets shine spikes. Unnecessary. <laughs> Alright, very good Edgeguard. Good comeback. Went from 2-0 to 2-2. Yeah. Bring it to game 5. Back to Dreamland. Now I'm rooting for my boy Marshall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very strong Madison representation. Especially in teams. Also, I have a lot of respect for Team Samus players. Samus is so hard to use effectively in a format that can be really hyper-aggressive. Yeah. Because Samus does not deal with pressure well. Especially with Foxes being on almost every team composition. <laughs> but it's for a good reason. <laughs> yeah, Samus's usual escape options like I true attack will get punished by a teammate. I don't even know what blue team used to flank and team combo. Alright, she got a sick back air. The 90% little tipsy. <laughs> and it's oh. it still got Samus to live. A little better. It didn't it did not matter. Weak knee. That might set up though. Fox's recovery is too good. That is Whoa. all I have to say. Nice. Little pop up hit of forward air. Up angled F smash. Really good presence of mind to up angle it. <laughs> Fox's up B auto canceling. Oh my god. He barely drifted around a, a really's up there. Marshall's nair's out of shield are very, very good. <laughs> uh, I wish I could say the same for his smash missiles. <laughs> Marshall still can't get back to stage very quickly. Or really is finding himself all alone a lot of the time. But also, Red Team isn't capitalizing a lot. Yeah. Yeah, they've been at high percent for a while, and as I say that, Inui gets a good edge guard. Samus still isn't dead though. He really might be able to help out. John Money doesn't even make it back. Yeah. But it's just right. I think that was just a failed recovery. You know he gets caught without his jump. <laughs> wow. A lot of uh, series of unfortunate events happening for Red Team. Inui going on the aggressive knowing uh, they're behind. And Aurelia is definitely at kill percent. 
Yeah, like, this is <laughs> higher than Cup should be living on the How stage. long has he had this stock? Actually, he was only at 90% till about 15 seconds ago. Oh, okay. He's gotten a lot of damage really quickly. Marshall going for Ooh, an... Almost a team save. Going for a team save that did not actually help. The Inui getting trapped between... Up throw, interesting choice. I wonder if he meant to do that. Especially on super floaties, you don't get a follow-up with that. Samus will just stick out fat in air. Fox holding down during Samus' down smash did not work out. <laughs> I think he got like 20 damage. Wow. I don't even know what hit him into that uh, gentleman. A really gentleman in his way through the stage, taking oh. on all of Red Team. See, the 1.0 graphics glitch. I did not see that. It was with Marshall's uh, percent counter. Oh, okay. It was a very small glitch. Okay. But it is noted that it is. Yeah, Inui could die at any time now. 123, even on Dreamland, is yeah. pretty high. Her recovery. Snare, a bear, knee, even up tilt from either character. Her recovery is not very good. This would be a clutch 2v1. Gotta kill Samus. John Money's going All in because right. he has a lot lower percent crouch cancels himself in the turn if he wants to. Want Inui to stay back and help out in the 2v1. Need pumps. Samus don't needs quite to kill Sheik. Needles don't quite reach yet. Oh, this is the grapple. Back here actually saves it. You need to get a little hasty with those edge guards. Marshall doing a good job of avoiding needles and does make it get to ledge. <laughs> Somehow makes it back to ledge after about 30 seconds. Good Stop offstage there. fair. A 3 0 comeback. All right, very strong comeback. Going to the run back of winners finals with Tapion and his partner. I'm sorry, Amanti. Amanti. Thank you. 